My name is Rod Rorick. I'm a physician. I'm a plastic surgeon. I'm a physician leader. And I'm going to talk to you about all kinds of things about medicine, about plastic surgery, about life. It's going to be Rorick Nose, okay? And of course, I'm a rhinoplasty expert, hence the Rorick Nose. So that's what I'm going to do. Every day, every way, this is what I'm going to do. So I may talk about life. I may talk about what I do every day in plastic surgery, teaching. I may talk about leadership, skills, life lessons that we've all learned from mistakes we've made to all the hot topics of today. Some may be political, so don't be bothered if it's a political thing. I'm just going to be me. So we're not going to have the cancel culture. We're not going to cancel anybody. We're going to talk about, you know, what it's life, what it's like to be, you know, an American, a Texan, and what it's like to live in 2021, pre, intra, and post-COVID, and now the second COVID and the third COVID wave, you know, the Delta variant, and what else is coming after that? I mean, it's going to be about all these things, and hopefully it'll be things that will set you free and have you communicate with me about, you know, being able to be open about your feelings, about your thoughts, your heart, and, you know, what we all are going through in America today. It's definitely a trying time. There is no doubt about it. But you know what? We're better together. And I don't know who said that, but it certainly rings true now because nowhere, no more time, at least in my history on this earth, have we had more of a challenging time of trying to stay together and be together you know, and I think it's a trying time for America and it's a trying time for medicine. And of course, with COVID, you know, who do you believe? You, you know, can you believe the CDC, the World Health Organizations? Probably the answer to that is maybe and sometimes not. And that's a real problem. So we have to go deep into our own soul. And so we have to believe ourselves. We have to believe the things we read that are truthful. And we have to go forward from that. And of course, one thing about COVID that we know is that we don't know anything. You know, one thing that's true today, masks, no masks. We're back to wearing masks in Dallas, um, you know, because of uh, the recent spike. And yet that, that Delta variant may spike high and then come back down again. But I think there are certain truisms, you know, like, you know, stay healthy, uh, get vaccinated. I don't think it's a political thing. I mean, we've all been vaccinated throughout our, you know, from our childhood on upward. We get the flu vaccine every year. I think we just need to depoliticize it. And the science to date is pretty darn good on it. I think um, the ones that are FDA approved, you know, just get vaccinated. I think it's a personal choice, but I think if you're not vaccinated, I think you should, you know, definitely wear a mask. And now, of course, as a healthcare facility, we are all wearing masks again because we want to protect we want to protect our patients, our staff, and ourselves. And that doesn't that's not a radical thing to say. But I know in America today sometimes that's like really like political, and it's not. I mean, it's like saying, you know, we don't want to protect our borders. Of course we want to protect our borders, you know, and some people think that's not a good idea. Well, there is no nation if you don't have borders, okay? So it's just like a lot of things we do. There are a lot of things that seem so easy, and yet they seem like it's, like, not true. Or like, you know, saying that, oh, we're a Texan or I'm an American. I mean, give me a break. We're all Americans. We're all Texans, and at least in the state of Texas. And that's not a bad thing to say. I mean, we just love what we do. And same in medicine. You know, medicine... You know, one of the most important things I'm going to teach you is the passion. If you have the passion and the focus, no one can stop you. No one. Okay? A lot of people have the passion, but it's not sustainable because that means you've got to fail again and again and again. And remember, Winston Churchill said, never, never give up. He was so right. Okay? Look what look at World War II. Look at what he was facing amazing so today never give up 
have passion, have focus, you know, believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's going to believe in you. It's like leaders that say, do this. They want to say, they want to see you do it, not talk about it. It's like our kids, you know, we, we want to have them grow up to really be great, independent individuals, but you can't tell them to do it. You got to show them, you got to tell them, you can tell them things, but you got you to gotta show them by doing it. It's like telling kids, oh, you do your homework, and you're there at night with them and drinking alcohol. You know, you, you know, like my kids grew up, and they knew that, you know, I went to work every day at 5 or 6 in the morning. And guess what? They know that that's a very important thing to do. You know, and to do that, you have to work hard, get up early, stay focused, and remember the most important thing in life, actually one of the most important things is you got to show up. Can you believe it? People got to show up. If you show up, you do your work, you have passion, you have focus, and you and you have perseverance, you're going to you're going to live your dream. You I can guarantee you that you're going to live your dream. Okay? That's just write it down. That's the other thing you got to do is you got to write stuff down. Every day I write down the three things I'm going to do. After that, it's cakewalk, okay? Once once you've done your three things, everything else is gravy. So write it down, do it, go on to your next day. And will you always succeed? Absolutely not. But you're going to succeed day in, day in, and day out better than anybody else you know. Because if you have a goal, if you have a focus and have a passion, nobody can stop you. You are it. And that's going to be the key. So I'm going to talk about all these things. I'm going to talk about plastic surgery a lot. I'm going to talk about medicine. I'm going to tell you about a lot of the, 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 you know, the myths about who and what we are as plastic surgeons. We're not going to do, you know, we're, I'm going to talk to you about real, real plastic surgery, real medicine, real, um, you know, what we do every day. It's a, some days are a grind. Okay. There's no doubt, you know, but he who finishes, finishes. Okay, most people won't finish because they don't have the tenacity to go go that last, you know, five yards. Okay, there's a lot of people that talk a big show, and you know, at the end of the day, they can't finish. They basically, you know, I think I call them kind of life suckers because basically, a lot of them, you know, they're kind of BSers as well. You know, if you don't. You know, get up in the morning and say, "This is my dream today. This is my focus." You're not gonna, you're not gonna succeed. And remember, every day you start with a positive thought and you end with a positive thought. Always, you've got to do that because during the day you're gonna have a lot of other thoughts, some negativity, some patients that necessarily won't be so happy, but you have to bring them up. Because otherwise, people will bring you down. You've got to, you've got to do that. And remember, as a leader, you bring people with you. You don't tell them what to do; they follow you because they want to em- emulate what you do and how you are. You are at a higher level, and to get to that higher level, you have to believe in yourself. That's one of the most important things that I've learned. Because once you believe in yourself. It will cascade because people then will believe in you. Remember that. That's what life's all about. So, and that's that's why I'm successful in medicine and plastic surgery and all the other things that I set out to do. So I'm going to help you believe in yourself. And I'll go through those series of steps that will make you believe in yourself to do the things you want to do. Write things down. Be able to articulate exactly what you're going to do and accomplish every day and make it a great day. I'm going to relate some of my life stories to you um, every day. You know, I grew up on a a ranch. Nobody, I didn't speak English until I was six. And yet I knew my parents were my most incredible role models. We got up at five in the morning. We milked the cows before we went to school. I mean, can you imagine? And the bus picked us up at 7. Okay, so we had to have all of the cows milked. We had to have um, breakfast done, everything. Helped my mom with uh, chores and all those things. But you know what? That's called imprinting. I remember that 
That's what I had to do every day to get ahead, okay? And that's what my parents did. The best thing they showed us was that two, several things is you have to work hard to get things done, and you have to have an incredible work ethic. And if you have that, that's the best gift that I can give my kids, that you can give whoever you're in contact with. If you can show them that the power of working, the power of passion, and the power of focusing gets things done, that's what made America great today. And we seem to have lost that. So we have to get that back. I hope to be able to help you get that back in your life. If you've, if you've had it, it can come back easily. If you've never had it, it's going to take some work. But we'll get you there, okay? Passion, focus, positivity, never give up. That's what life's all about. That's what success is all about, okay? You know, you can dream about it all you want, but if you don't get up and do it, you're going to fail. And failure is only the step and pathway to success. Just remember that, okay? Because you're going to fail a lot. I failed a lot in my life, okay? But when you fail a lot, you succeed a lot, okay? That's the most important thing. So success is a series of steps from one failure to another to success. That's what it's all about. And and if you finally understand that and embrace that, then you can be anything you want to be. You know, you want to be the next, you know, Steve Jobs or Elon Musk, you can do that. Look, Think big, think out of the box, and and never say, oh, here's my life goal. I mean, you know, my life goal, how about your, your three and five year again? That's that's not material. It's like your three and six month goal. That's what you want to do. You want to get to that goal because if you want to say something you can do it in a year, well, why can't you do it in six months or three months? You can. Okay, just remember, aim high, okay, because if you – don't, you're going to get there. You never want to aim low and get there and go, oh my God, is that all there is? You've always got to go to the next mountaintop because you always will see more from the highest mountain. Okay. And then you can go down to the valley and you'll want to go to the next mountain, but the next mountain's always going to be higher. So just remember that. Okay. And that means you live your dream every day. You love what you do. One of the most important things in life that my parents taught me is to give back. You get so much more back by giving others than by taking, okay? If you learn that, you are on your incredible path to great success in life, okay? One of the other things that I think I always relate to... Um, to my uh, to to my staff and to my 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 kids is that um, you know life is a series of steps, okay, and you don't go quantum leaps. It's a series of steps to get to where you want to be. So, how do you do that? Okay, you start at the bottom with the plan, the focus, the goal, and then the work. You know, remember it's the you, to get to the goal. You got to inspire. You got to you got to inspire yourself and others and then most importantly you got to perspire that means you gotta you gotta sweat it out you gotta work hard okay there's no simple recipe to getting it done right or like when you see oh look that person was so lucky luck is an opportunity meeting a prepared mind okay that's so important to remember luck is an opportunity meeting a prepared mind, okay? Because if you're not prepared to meet that opportunity, you're going to not make it. I mean, and look at the tenacity of guys like uh, Thomas Edison. I mean, he tested that incandescent bulb, I think, 10,000 times before the first one worked, okay? Abraham Lincoln, I think out of his 10 elections, he lost seven. Thank goodness. Thank God he won the last three, okay? He transformed America, okay? Thank God George Washington didn't give up, okay, in the winters of 1774 and 1775, okay, because we wouldn't have America today, okay? These are all great, great leaders, but they're not perfect. They're just human beings. Yeah, they've, they, just like everybody, nobody's perfect, okay? But be as perfect as you can be. In fact, perfection is something not to really 
you know, attain or strive for as much as progress every day to be better and better and never, ever pattern yourself against anybody else. Because if you do, you will not get to where you want to be. In other words, you want to be a better you than you were yesterday. And that's really what's important. Okay. So yesterday we were okay. And maybe even a setback, but tomorrow is going to be a better day. And remember every day is a, is a new day. Every day is a good day. And that's really what you want to, you want to hear from yourself, your inner self. And that's what drives you. What really drives you isn't somebody else. It's the inner self saying, I am going to accomplish this today. I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to do this today. This is my absolute goal and I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to be successful because Your thoughts become reality. Remember that. Thoughts become reality. Every time you think about it, you're closer to the reality. Okay, that's not delusion. That's realism. Okay, but you've got to live it too. You can't just talk about it. You've got to live it. And when you live it, those thoughts become reality, become success, becomes the new you. That's the next plateau to go from. So every day, every step is a plateau to its next level of success. And no one can stop you. Remember that. Nobody. Nobody can stop you. The only person that can stop you is you. Okay? Nobody can stop you. So that's really what you want to what you want to do, what you want to know. And that's a better you. Everybody can do that, okay? You can do it. And I'm going to take that everyone, everybody, and make it happen for you, okay? And it's going to happen. It's, it's an evolution. It will happen, but be patient, persevere, okay, and be persuasive. Those three Ps drive my life, okay? You have to be persuasive. You have to be, you have to be persistent, okay? And you have to be passionate. In closing, this is a good stepping stone background of what Rorick knows is going to talk about in the ensuing podcasts, okay? So look forward to other life lessons on medicine, on plastic surgery, on the current events of today and everything happening in life, my life, your life. What's going to happen next? We don't know, but I'll clue you in on some innovative things and things that will help you become a better you, okay? No one can become a better you until you decide to do that. Until next time, Rorick knows. Mm -hmm.